TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it, little warning screen. Uh, just in case, doubtful, we'll need it, but, you know. Don't forget, we do got Patreon, where we post five days per week. And we also got, obviously, Twitch.com, man. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. All of this is located in the description below. Uh, let's get into this, man. This is Season 5, Episode 12. Can't pay, we will. Take it away. Talk to them. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Hello. What? A recent survey has revealed that nearly three quarters of UK adults lent money to friends and family last year. One in 20 have lent over £5,000, but over 40% never see their money again. Almost a quarter of private lenders have fallen out with friends and family over loan. Don't lend friends and family money. High Court Enforcement Agents Matthew Highway and Gary Ball are in Bilston, West Midlands. They have a writ to collect nearly £4,500 owed by Michael Cox to a former girlfriend. What have we got? We we'll have to see a Mr Michael A. Cox. Not Michael J. Fox. If Michael doesn't pay, the agents could seize goods to offset the debt including any cars he owns on the driveway. Mm. Normal procedure. Why are they always first, though, in this uh, season five? Good after, sir. Hello, sir. After Michael A. Cox. Oh, yeah? My name's Gary Ball, sir. I'm a high court enforcement agent. Can you to Michael Cox, please, Michael, sir? Please, sir. Michael, mate. Michael A. Cox. Is that you or your you son? Let's speak to him, please. Thank you. Trying to assess the situation first. <laughs> it seems that both father and son have the same name. Alright, Michael. Hi. You alright, Michael A. Cox? Yes. Because that's your father, it's your other junior. Yeah. Right, so my name's uh, Gary Ball, I'm a high court enforcement agent. Okay. CCJ's been um Okay. Made against you. Let's escalate that now to the High Court. You currently owe £4,302.27, sir. Okay. So, can you pay that today, sir? Get off the I'll just come back to myself bankrupt. That's all I'll do. It's not, it's not quite as simple as that, Michael. Uh, it's not quite as simple as that. It's, it's, I haven't got the money. Yeah, it's not, mate. But unfortunately, yeah. this is no from the High Court. It commands me and my partners to attend here today to either collect the money from you. Uh, yeah. Or to seize because of the value of that's what we're here to do. The problem is, yeah, yeah. this is my house. Right, okay. Yeah, so, with me there, right. this is mine. There's items there that belong to somebody else. Yeah. The onus is on them to prove to us that it belongs to them. Okay. So, what it would mean is that, you know, Mum or Dad would have to find yeah. receipts and invoices for everything in the property. Okay. And everything on the property. Well, okay. Alright. So, no no do, do you want to do crack on and do that then, if that's the yes. case? Yeah, and we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. The other option is you try and find some funds to, to get this. Okay. That's the best option. Yeah. And yeah. you don't really want to go down, down that road. Everything we've got here is paid for by us, but yeah. by our company. Yeah. And you can, you can prove that. Well, I'll should give you 15, 16 boxes of bills that you can fucking sort through. Smash them, we'll really? have a look then. Do you want to start with the, uh, the stuff on the drive? Okay. Cougar yeah. and the uh, well, the Cougar is the SWC's property. Um, it's what, sorry? The SWC, which is mum and dad's company. All right, okay. Dad, dad, get the logbook from the Cougar and the, the Saab, just get that. And the, and the Alpha as well. Yeah. If you can do that, we, we, can, we can rule that out to start with. Can, no, I'm not going to oblige and help you. We can do this one of two ways. Yeah. Right? You can either cooperate with us and we can do it nicely, mm -hmm. which we're doing at the moment. It's either, you it's cannot either, it's either take to you. any of my goods. Right. Let them. Let me show you then, sir. 
Why is your son pushing 30 still living with you? I'm a little bit, like, I'm a little bit baffled because you're a pensioner. Like, he got to be, like, well, well, <clears throat> well old. With the debtor's father unwilling to show the agents any proof that the cars belong to his company, Matt goes inside to investigate further. Ah, peaceful entry. Hello, you all right? I did warn you. Right. You can call the police if you like, okay? Would you like to get proof of ownership for the vehicles in the drive, sir? Tell you what, you're Thank not you. You break more fucking house, mate. If you think I'm doing anything wrong, then you can call the police, sir. It's really important to gain access to the property. We are able to to see his goods. Yeah, that'll leave him uncomfortable. All right. Well, I'm trying to be nice. Well, let me exert some power, and maybe that will get you to play ball. Take control of goods, um, and you know it just heightens everything within, for within my rights of power. The defendant, you know, they, they realise at that point they've. But he tried. They've got to deal with it. And they got all While Mr. Cox goes though. to find paperwork for the cars, Michael explains the situation to his mother. No oh, full hand off me. Top and bottom of it. It's that girl. That one give me all the money. I'm too easy. She's not going to be a bit of a shock. We have written, madam, give seven days' notice before we attended. Um, Master. Vehicles. Unless you can prove otherwise, yeah. madam, unfortunately. We've got, we've got proof of that. You will have to prove it, yes. Yeah, because they're on the drive, madam. So this one's the Saab, is it? Is that that one there, is it? Oh, it's it's Duffy is paid for by us, not by him. You know. But the paperwork doesn't prove that all of the cars outside. There's something about their son that's coming off as entitled and snobby and. That girl that gave me the money all those two years ago. What are you talking about? What are you? Who are you? I belong to the debtor's father. I like you for There's two vehicles, yeah. okay, that could potentially be lifted. Because Michael's insured on both of them, and it, the one of them's in his name. The Saab and the Alpha outside are connected to Michael and could be seized. But the threat of losing both of them prompts Michael to make an offer. While father and son argue over the cars, the Matt alpha. needs them to understand what will <clears> happen <throat> if no payment is forthcoming. The, the options are either we Yeah, like, I'm telling you, this son is an L son, biggest L son. Like, the parents, okay, nothing is his, but what do you mean take the alpha and you haven't paid it? You ain't paid that man for that alpha? That's his car. He's lending it to you. It's in your name, but he paying for it. He paid for it. We organized payment. Or I'll be organised recovery for the Alpha and the Saab, yeah. but both be removed, and then we'll be doing a full inventory of the property, and it'll be up to whoever's claiming ownership of it to prove that it's theirs. I will crack on. Once I've organised recovery for these, Michael, I can't go back. It adds the cost onto it. So can drive off first. just bear, yeah, just bear that in mind. You can try and drive it off first if you want. Oh what? Oh what? Come on. Oh what? Drive it oh, off as well. Oh what? Well, there's a van at the end of your drive, buddy. Oh yeah, I'm sure the van's a good one. Good match for two. So just fuck off. Well, I'm going to organize recovery for them, okay? Oh my god, this guy Michael is... Uh, I don't even like to... I ain't even going to say it. Like, he's like a... He, he's an instrument. So, in the meantime, while I'm making that call, I'll have to think about it. While Matt goes outside to clamp the Alpha and the Saab, Gary starts to discuss the infantry with the family. There's no need for you to be my answer. You tell my son, what are you going to do, bro? Come on, be realistic. Yeah, We're still going to do a job. And that's why I can't do this job, literally. If he would have did that to me, I would have, be for real. Be realistic. Are you trying to intimidate me? Be for real. We're going to make an illicit property, in the inside property. Are we going to take, madam? 
If you stop me, madam, I'll get the police here. Yeah. I'll you get the police right now. Please, no. So don't stop Come and stand up to me because I will move you out of the way. Yes, you will. You're gonna Oh, he got Michael in the head. My fault. He got Michael in the headlock, and this is what I meant by Michael. Be serious. We know you not built like that. You live with your parents, and you're pushing thirty. Like, look, you're in a headlock. That's a headlock you're in, buddy. Are you going to calm down? 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 He got Michael in a headlock and Michael Sr. on drop down to his knees. Why would your son initiate this type of smoke? In a corner, Gary is forced to restrain Michael to protect his safety. The agents are now faced with a debtor who's lost all control. Well, Michael had a temper tantrum and got put in the headlock. That's tough. They will have to act fast to prevent themselves getting seriously hurt. This is this is peak negativity, ain't it? When the Michael, gonna oh, calm down. Gonna calm down. Now Gary and Why would Michael rush up like that when he knew this is what I'm I knew it from the jump like Michael calm down you are not him Matt have to act fast to take back control of the situation Are you going to calm down move move away from me move away from me right now Please Michael that's a look of embarrassment. Please. 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 Please, Michael, don't get choked in front of me. <laughs> uh. Of course. Can I help you off or not? No, no, no. Nobody's attacking you. It's all right, let's stop. Do you want to get up? No, no. It's all right. Michael appears to have calmed down. Right. Bro is unfazed. He's literally unfazed. Michael appears. Hand up on a wall, <laughs> chilling. To have calmed down, but Gary calls for police assistance. Can I help you up, Michael? Hello there. Can I have a police assistance, please? They're on the way. We'll wait for police to arrive and then we'll resume our duty, okay? Yeah. I seriously don't know why people would want to attack you but we're only there doing well, why would you even put your father in that type of situation like i've seen this guy run for his life and you let him put you in a <laughs> in a chokehold like michael you're not like that Chill. job um obviously it's not a pleasant thing to happen to them but you know attacking us is not going to get around the fact that we're going to stay there and we're going to recover the debt or we're going to start removing your goods we'd much rather you speak to us try and sort it out rather than lay hands on us. 20 minutes later, the police arrive. Yeah, yeah it was just yeah, over. Right. Basically, my colleague went out to, to the van to get some paperwork, and Michael, the big lad in there, just come up to me, started, started pushing me and attacking me. So I just asked if you could, uh, could attend and calm the situation now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. With the police present, Michael makes the agents a surprise offer. I'll get the money, so you can arrange with the alpha. Yeah. What money have you got? Yeah, the alpha. It'll be 14. Michael has offered £1,400 and one of the cars. So Matt phones the office for a vehicle check. That would be like... Hi, mate, you all right? Can you just uh, run an HPI for me, please? I need a, need a value as well on it. It's certainly free of finance. Okay, so this is worth a couple then, isn't it? Well, I'll, I'll have a chat with him and see what he wants to do. The car might be worth £2,000, okay. but after removal fees, Michael still wouldn't be close to paying off the debt. Matt tries one last time to negotiate a better offer with Michael. Have you got any way of upping the amount of cash that you're talking about today? Any, any whatsoever. If you have, then I can potentially come up with an, an option that will mean leaving everything here, including your alpha. If you can get £2,000, then we could look at giving you a period of time after, after today to get the rest of it sorted. Is that doable, Michael? Yes. Right, smash him. 
Michael agrees to a £2,000 down payment today and a fortnightly payment plan. Normally, that's what happens after you get humbled with a chokehold. You know, think you start to see things clearer. You start to figure out, like, hey, I've never been a fighter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me be a listener. Let me oblige these people. Of £500 to clear the balance. Can you pay in two weeks' time, Michael? Yeah. Oh, so it's fortnightly then, five hundred pounds per fortnight. But it will be up to the claimant to decide whether or not to accept the arrangement. Let me give him a call and get that sorted, yeah. Unless she's bitter. Hi, it's Matt Highway. We've got uh, an offer of payments. Can you just give the claimant a ring for me? Yeah, that's been accepted. It's been accepted. Yeah. Smashing. Thank you. Great stuff. With the offer accepted, the case is resolved. Cheers, Michael, you have to, you, you have to, yeah. Shake. No, it's all right. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Take care. See you later. But if Michael defaults on his payment plan, the agents will be back. 100%. No one's injured, um, thankfully. You know, it's just, just silliness. It's just turned over into violence and, you know, and it... It was even worse because I think it looks as though that you know he waited for me to leave the leave the property before he'd um, you know instigated the attack, which we can't we can't have. Um, you know, first my first uh, my first job is to make sure that my colleague is safe. Um, second job is to do our our job. You know, but uh, our safety is paramount. It's estimated Michael blew smoke and quickly re inhaled that month. <laughs> he was, man, pff, I want smoke. <sighs> Wait, no, I don't. <laughs> More than 50,000 people in the UK take out loans which require a guarantor every year. However, the number of guarantors left with unexpected debts after a borrower failed to keep up with their repayments is on the rise. According to one leading advisory body, the number of people seeking help with guarantee tour loans rose by 40% last year. High Court Enforcement Agents Gary Brown and trainee Connor Jackson are in Portsmouth to collect a debt of over £2,500 owed to a loan company. Next up, we have Mrs. Ann Butcher. We're looking to collect £2,638. It's a bit rough, doesn't it? It does a little bit. With any luck, it would be one of the ground flats. Mrs. Butcher's son took out a loan and she signed as a guarantor. No, it's going to be up in it. But her son defaulted yeah. on his payments and Mrs. Butcher must now pay the nearly £2,700 in full today. Oh, it's open. Ha, ah, result. I don't think you're going to be getting money today. Somebody's in. Hello, Anne Butcher? Yeah. Hello there, my name's Gary Brown. That's my colleague, Connor Jackson. We're enforcement agents. You've been taken a call. Come on in, officers. Officers is a stretch, but... On behalf of... Ah! 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 Where's buddy go? So was the debt yours? Yeah, I don't know that. It's always a penny to us. I took it out on behalf of my son. Okay. He's supposed to be paying it. Okay. Take it you were a guarantor or something? Yeah, he had work done on the car, but I, I had to sign for it to say that uh, the payment will go through to pay the car for um, repairs. <laughs> Can I just ring my daughter in? Yeah, sure, yeah. Mrs. Butcher gets her son's wife on the phone. And that's hey, the High Court writ. I've got a High Court bailiff's here. So can you talk to them, please? I've got High Court bailiff's here. Uh, for this payment thing. No, it's not okay. It's my... 
She's not, whoever she's talking to is not understanding the severity of the situation. Hello there. Uh, my name's Gary Brown. I'm an enforcement agent and I'm attending this property with a High Court writ against Anne Butcher, which is obviously this lady. Um, she's been taken to court because of an unpaid unpaid debt. She explains to me that, that it was it was she got the loan on, on your behalf. Well it's not my yeah, it's not me, it's my husband's uh, my husband's car. Right. My husband's not here at the moment so I am kind of you know, stuck in the middle. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to do that. Well the situation now is that um, once it comes out for enforcement it's pretty much the end of the road. So we're here now to recover the money or remove goods. Which we, we, we don't want to remove goods, we don't want to be doing any of that, but it does need to be paid in full. And the figure we're looking for today is £2,638.35. Mm. It needs to be paid now. Because what will happen if, if it's not paid, then we have to start the removal process, but then that will incur another fee. So if we can avoid that and get it paid in full now, then that will save everyone a lot of money and time. Okay. If you want to make some phone calls, um, yeah. speak to whoever you need to speak to to see if they can help. All right, well, we'll see what we can do. Okay, okay. all right then. Um, and have a seat. I'm not gonna lie, that seemed pretty calm, right? Have a seat. I say, chill out. Um, chill out, I've got no, no, I, It sounds like she's got a way of sorting this, so hey? no need to stress out just yet. When somebody's reacting in an emotional way, I just give them a bit of time and just to just to process why we're there because on one hand you have the debt to collect but on the other hand you have somebody's welfare that you have to bear in mind 10 minutes later mrs butcher's daughter-in-law rings back she's not gonna let me have that you have been gerda Mrs. Butcher's daughter-in-law is going to try and contact another member of the extended family for help. It's not looking good. Who's she phoning? Gerda. Um, she, Gerda is Ben's step-grandmother. Okay. Well, hopefully she'll see the gravity of the situation and she'll, uh, she'll be able to help out. Oh. She's working two phones. This dog just wants to play. Uh, right. Does, yeah. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm in tears as well. I've got the hang on. High, high court enforcement high agents. High court info, well, enforcement agents. Gentlemen here, please. I can't do it. It's a bit of a tongue twister when you're having a bit of a moment. Please, Gerda, I'll pay you back. Hello. Hello. Hello there. Uh, my name is Gary Brown. I'm an enforcement agent and um, I'm here with a colleague. We have a High Court writ for Anne. Um, right. And we're looking to collect £2,638. What's it for? It's for, for whose car? Brendan's, Brendan's car. Brendan's car. I'm Brendan's butcher's stepgrandmother. Oh, right, okay. Um, well, that company that lent um, the money have taken Anne to court because she was the guarantor. Yeah. Um, and the kids haven't been paying the money back? No. Now, how do I pay this money? Um, we could take debit or credit card over the phone. Um, I'm not doing anything. I, do, don't, I don't do anything money over the phone, sorry. Okay. Uh, we could do a bank transfer. No, that's, that's like taking cash. Um, then how quickly could you get here with the cash? Have you got cash? No, I haven't got... You are you're stupid or something. Well, you've just asked me how do I pay it. It's a £3,000 in cash, just like that. It's ridiculous. I'll pay it through a proper way. You... I, will pay, I will pay it through the bank into your bank account. I can give you my office number yeah. and you can ring them. They can take the money over the phone. That's going to be the easiest way to get this sorted and get us out the house. Hey, Gerda. Right, I'm going to ring them and just get you verified. OK, thank you. OK, thank you. Bye. Bye. I feel very sorry for people that are guaranteed. I'm not mad about Ger Ger Gerda wanting to verify and not taking payment over the phone. That's smart. For other people that haven't paid the debts that they have agreed and sometimes the guarantor is not aware that the debt hasn't been paid and it's a huge shock when we arrive it doesn't just affect the person who owes the money it can drag other people into it and we're always conscious big brother on the door playing fetch with the dog i feel it of the effects that 
our enforcement and our attendance is having on other family members. A few minutes later, the office calls back. Hello. Brilliant, OK. Gerda has settled the debt. Another L son. He didn't even speak. He was nowhere to be found. That's been paid in full. I say, you can't really fault her then. You know, she's not a blood relation anyway, and she's paid. Well, it's, it's done with. It's paid. Um, our job's done. All right? Yeah. Lovely to meet you. Shame it wasn't under more pleasant yeah. circumstances. You could see she wasn't expecting... God, no. At all. Uh, ...anything like that. And uh, I don't think she's even seen an enforcement agent before, let alone had any turn up her address. But yeah. if somebody is going to be a guarantor, they've really got to know what they're getting themselves into because... If the person you're doing it for defaults on their payments, that's why you just don't do the it. The agents, the enforcement agents, aren't going to visit their address. They can come and visit yours, and um, it's not a nice thing to have on your doorstep. Despite the sensitive situation, Gary and Connor have got this debt settled. Yeah. Got the bread. But in Matt and Gary's next case. Don't tell me about what on the next case. Let's just get to the next case. You hear me? The number of UK motorists handed fines by private parking companies has increased by over 25% in just one year alone. Citizens Advice dealt with over 12,500 cases related to parking issues over the second quarter of 2016. High Court Enforcement Agents Matthew Highway and Gary Ball are back on the road, this time in Stoke-on-Trent, Staffordshire. Oh, Stoke -on -Trent. They're hoping to recover a debt of nearly £2,500 owed by Mohammed Kamal in unpaid parking fines. What have we got next then, mate? Next is a mistake. Mohammed Kamal for a balance of £2,455 and... 93 pence. The parking company escalated the case to the High Court, and now Mr. Kamal must pay the money he owes in full today. This might get negative. What's what, wrong, sir? Morning, sir. I was looking for uh, Mohammed Kamal. Yes. Is that yourself, is it, sir? Yes, sir. Hello, sir. My name is Gary Ball. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. You got a High Court writ uh, been issued against you? Against for what? Oh, I guess it was for parking. For where? I'm, I'm not too sure, sir. You must you must have got there's your High Court writ there. Sir. You must have got all the details before. Um, the amount you owe at the minute, sir, is two thousand four hundred and fifty-five pound and ninety-three pence, sir. So what can I do? What can yes. you do? You, you can pay the debt, sir. Well, I can't able to pay right now because I don't have nothing to pay now. You do understand why we're here, sir? We're here to, stay, to, collect, to collect the money or to remove goods from your property. This is not my property. It's so not, this is my wife's uh, yeah. wife's name on the on that property. You that, live that's there. fine, sir. All you got, all your wife's got to do is show um, invoice and receipts for everything that belongs to her. She she just went to work, so I can't yeah. able to. I understand that, sir. I can't able to disturb her right now because she's working right now. Okay. But years of experience suggest that this might not be the case. So Matt and Gary enter the property to investigate further. Doors open. This is not my house. The house owner is my wife. I live in another address, but uh, I just came to visit her sometime. Uh, the they immediately wife? spot some paperwork. There's loads of stuff with his name on. You've got a virgin bill here, sir. Strange that you don't live here, but you've also got bills here, isn't it? She used my name. Oh, she used your name? Yeah. Oh, well, all, all the evidence is saying it, you, you do live here, sir. Your bill's here, is... your wife's here, and also you're here, sir. It's not looking good, bruv. Your lies are terrible anyway. But Mr. Kamal is still refusing to pay. And with the evidence mounting that this is his home, the agents start an inventory of goods they could seize. 
please don't touch anything until I get to church for owner. We're here with the writ from the High Court, OK? So, and, so regardless of what you say, we yes. are entitled to be here, OK? And if this debt isn't paid, we are going to seize goods from this property. Mr Kamal gets his wife on the phone. Mr Kamal, get tight. Hello, old Joe. Debt collector of way, so bad you think of it. I'm not a debt collector, sir. Okay. She's coming, don't touch anything until she comes. We'll carry on doing our job, sir. We'll, we'll carry okay. on. With Mr. Kamal refusing to cooperate, the agents start their inventory. Xbox 360E electric car. But then Mrs. Kamal appears on the stairs. I've got proof. This is my property. I understand it's your property, madam, but your husband lives here with you. Correct? Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. And he's but also got a bank account details. Bank account and this address. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. yeah, and he's also got bills here as well, madam. Yeah, but... Well, damn, you just gave it all up. It was not... <laughs> you did. You're done. So I'd say he was living here, wouldn't you? Yeah, but this is my property. I understand you're on the land okay. registry as owning the property. This is, yeah, this but is we're not taking property. the house, madam. And don't you worry. We need we will, we're you taking the see, items you inside the payment. house. Okay, great. Okay. We'll take we'll take payment but then. We haven't got any money at the moment. Oh well he can't make payment then, can it? With the truth uncovered, the agents now need to get the case resolved once and for all. Okay, you need to raise some funds. I don't have nothing to pay you right now. Okay, then you but understand we, why we're here, don't you? Yeah, but we will make okay. payments, and he will make payments. Yeah, it needs to be now, madam. It needs to be now. We haven't got that far. Okay. No one here to pay me. Nobody can help you. No, okay. With payments looking unlikely, Matt and Gary have no option but to continue You've listing nice goods. But the prospect of losing their possessions prompts Mrs. Kamal to make the agents TV. an offer. Yes, madam. Yes, madam. If we, if we pay £300, would you be able to, if I can arrange £300, would you be able to come to a settlement? It's not enough, madam, unfortunately. This is so embarrassing. I'll anyway. tell you what, OK. We, to stop enforcement action today, we'd need half the payments, OK? Now, do you need some time to organise that, you and your husband? We'll stop what we're doing. Yeah. We'll hold everything where it is, all right? Mm. Won't put any more further charges okay. on. Make some calls, yeah. OK? We've done all this... Yes, of course. Shows some silliness yeah. now, so make yeah. some calls okay. and let's see if we can get this sorted. Okay. All right? Okay. Then I'll put an arrangement for the rest. Yeah? And we'll do nothing until you've done that. How, how long have we got? We've got, to, we've got to stay while you do that. We're not talking about being here all day. Mr and Mrs Kamal leave to try and raise the money. Hopefully we're going to get somewhere with, uh, with these guys. It's, um, it's always difficult when there's three different people, defendant's not uh, great with English, he, he speaks enough to get by but uh, not great, obviously however his wife is uh, full English speaking so um, yeah, sometimes you need those people just to turn up to, to move the, the situation forward a little bit. If, I, if I'm being perfectly honest, they both speak English and understand 100% well, there's no confusion here. Okay, no, thank you, madam. I'm fine. Thank you. I've just had one. An hour and a half later, Mr. and Mrs. Kamal return. Hello. Hi, madam. You're all right? Yes. Have thank you, sir. The couple have managed to raise £600. It's just a quarter of what they owe, but it seems that it's the best they can do. I'm really being cooperative here, and I really, this is really so embarrassing. What I'll do is I'll sort of put sort of fifty pound a month, you know, arrangement or something, you know, something along those lines, so I can clear the balance. No, no, no. I, I feel like this is all on your yeah. behalf, and we'll put that arrangement terms to them. Matt calls the office to see whether the six hundred pound down payment, together with a payment plan of fifty pounds a month, is acceptable to the claimant. Hi, right, it's Matt Highway. It's offer to climb, mate, yeah. It's uh, £600 today with um, ongoing £50 per month. OK, we'll, we'll sort it. We'll sort it. Cheers, mate. The office are happy with the £600 down payment but want to up the monthly instalment to £100. Ooh, she's still there. Azira, yeah, 50 is um, a little bit. the monthly arrangement has to go up. The loan next is £100 per month. Okay, that's so fine. it's a £600 pounds today yeah. with £100 pounds a month going yeah, forward until it's paid off. Oh, All right, guys. Mrs Kamal agrees to the £100 pounds a month payment plan. 
Many thanks for your help. I appreciate your help. Okay, thank, thank you, sir. Take care, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now. Bye. We've all left as friends, which is good. You know, the, the job's been done, the money's been collected, uh, and the client's happy, you know, most importantly. A recent survey has revealed that a fifth of UK small businesses struggle to keep on top of their finances. 60% are experiencing an increase in the cost of running their business and say costs are having a negative impact on their cash flow. Well, I got y'all. I know, I know y'all. I know some some of y'all struggle. Almost one in five Britons, small and medium-sized entre un enterprises, my bad, are missing paydays in order to make ends meet. That was a little tongue twister, wasn't it? High Court Enforcement Agent Gary Brown and trainee Connor Jackson are now in New Elton, South East London, to recover a debt of just over £3,000 owed by a taxi company. We have a case for Giant Cars Limited. If the director of the company, Mr Yusuf, doesn't pay today, they have the right to remove business assets to offset the debt. That's 27 there. Here we go. Oh. Come on. The business appears to be closed. Is it coincidence you think that the blinds are closed? Closed or closed down? Seems a bit fishy. So Gary calls the number on the sign. Hello, can you open the um, office door, please? We're here with the High Court writ. My name is Gary Brown. I'm a High Court enforcement agent. Can you come and open the door, please? Well, no one's in there. Okay, then I'm going to force it open unless somebody comes to open the door. Okay, wait for me. I'm coming. Okay, we'll wait here. Who are these two? As soon as I threatened to... Have we seen them before? Who is these dudes? Force the door open. She's on her way down, so... Hello? Minutes later, the woman who answered the phone arrives. Hello. We're High Court Enforcement Agents. Uh, the clarification. The yeah. extension was my flat. So what's in here, then? Uh, literally nothing. Okay. I will open the door. Oh. Oh, wow. It's small, isn't it? So who owns who owns this? Who runs this? Me. I'm just renting the flat and the office for my own needs. The woman claims she's nothing to do with the debtor company, Giant Cars Limited. But the agents are suspicious. But you've still got the Giant Cars on the sign, sign upstairs. Sign, yeah. Giant Cars moved a long time ago. We were working together all the time. The computers still But then say Gary all the stuff. spots some paperwork. They're not trading anymore as giant cars, but they've got giant cars, business cars here. Another coincidence, eh? Lots of coincidences in this place, isn't there? She looks like, oh, look okay, I'm lying. Says. Oh, giant cars limited. Another coincidence. And yet you say giant cars don't trade it. Please, pull the other one. Oh, because initially you said you got nothing to do with it. It's not a personal thing when somebody lies to me. I expect it kind of somebody to personal. tell a few fibs. They're going to hide all sorts of information from me. I think we've so seen him. It pays to dig around before, a little bit, yeah. pick apart their lies, and you can find the information that you need to help you recover the debt. Gary has seen enough evidence to prove he's in the right place. Now he has to speak to the director, Mohammed Yusuf. Now I've established that you work with him, for him, have you got the number for Mohammed Yusuf? Yes, but he's out of the country. With the director, Mr. Yusuf, supposedly abroad, Gary has no choice but to leave paperwork for him, giving him seven days to pay. Oh, okay. I'm going to leave yeah. Ain't none here. you with my number. Mm -hmm. That office is and tiny. And if you could tell the director, mm -hmm. Mr. Yusuf, that. It's going to be advisable to pay this. Mm -hmm. 
So the total we want is £3,623. If the money's paid within, you know, by next Friday, then we're all good. Um, otherwise, we're going to be going to his home address. Thank you. Okay, £623 to pay this. Mm -hmm. So the total we want is £3,600 to buy into his home. The agents have done all they can for now. But the case isn't over yet. I mean, Gary awesome. and Connor must get back on the trail of the elusive Mr. Yusuf with some surprising new information. Investigations last night have shown that they're selling four vehicles on eBay. But they're in for another shark. Have you got your son's telephone number, please? Oh, what are you hard doing? Stop it. Mate. Almost got us. Now, Gary and Connor are on their way to the home address of Mr. Yusuf and have uncovered some important new information about the business. When you search for Giant Cars Limited, it suggests that they're selling cars. And some investigations last night have shown that they're selling four vehicles on eBay. OK. Two blue BMWs, a silver Nissan 350Z. It looks like you are be taking them. Nah. What kind of bike? 350Z what? and a quad bike. Nah. Could have shut down the cab company and then opened up with the cars and just didn't change the paperwork and stuff across. Do you want to jump out now? Should have crossed the fuse right and that back end of Across both of Yeah, yeah, yeah. They immediately spot two of the expensive cars listed for sale on the company website. If Mr. Yusuf can't or won't pay the money today, they could be seized to pay off the debt. Looks like a pretty nice house, nice... They might probably have the money. Are they not going anywhere, mate? Nope. Yeah, I can't. Hi, can I speak to Mohammed, please? Cameras all around. Right, thank you. Go, go, go. With the door left open, Gary takes the opportunity to enter the premises peacefully. That's a good start. And Connor immediately makes an important discovery. Quad bikes in here, mate. Hey? Quad bikes in here. At the moment, oh, hang on, there's a plate at the front. That's it, this is the one. Awesome. So we've got the quad bike and both the vehicles. That's what we like to hear, isn't it? So, <laughs> that's a good start. They have all the leverage they need. Now all they have to do is talk to Mr. Yusuf. I think with the time left on this, they're giving it up, the money. It's only four minutes left. Hello, Mohammed. Yes. Hello there. My name's Gary Brown, yeah. High Court Enforcement. This is my colleague, Connor Jackson. Uh, we're here about a case to do with Giant Cars Limited. I understand. Giant You're the director, Mohammed no, Yusuf. No, not me, you say my son. Mohammed Yusuf. My, his name is Mohammed Yusuf. Is, uh, What's your name, please? My name is Mohammed Yusuf. His name is Mohammed Asif Yusuf. Have you got your son's telephone number, please? Could uh, I speak to him? He's at this moment uh, in, in prison. Right. Well, who's who's running the company, Giant Cars? I don't know. I, right. I, I'm a retired man. How long has he been in prison? He, he's uh, from, I think, October. Well, somebody's still selling cars. I don't know. You no. don't know? No, no. And yet, two of the vehicles on your driveway are being sold. By giant cars, aren't they? Yeah, I, this is one of the car she bought. Nothing with me. These these cars outside. Yeah. Belong to Giant Cars Limited. No, no, no. No, this car one. I love the eBay. Uh, this one uh, she bought mm -hmm. from uh, somebody. News that Mr. Yusuf Jr. is in prison comes as a surprise, but Gary has the right to seize goods even in. Yusuf Jr., I don't know what you did, but it looks like you come from a nice home <laughs> with, with plenty of opportunity. His absence. But Mr. Yusuf Sr. claims the vehicles belong to his wife. These are printouts yeah. that I printed off eBay last night. Yeah. I know these cars are being sold by Giant Cars Limited. Okay, so you got this one here, yeah. which is on your driveway. This car, which is also outside. And a quad bike, which I believe is this one in, in here. Yeah, you do whatever you like, but nothing uh, to, to do with me. That car, I can show you the proof that she bought it and I drive it for her. You're missing the point, Mr. Yusuf. Okay. The point is you're still selling them as 
the company, which allows them to take them. It is still up for sale on eBay. So I believe that that this, car... This one is put for sale in yeah. Vietnam. This is my car. I drive it you say it's wife. not up for sale. I've got the print out here. How can you say that it's not up for sale? I, I don't know. I don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't understand if you are not a technology. Well, this is, this is evidence. Yeah, but uh, nothing to do with me. I can tell you, but uh, I can... Can you give me one minute? I just find the... you know, I'll give you one minute, yeah. yeah. You can have a minute. Gary's very thorough when it comes to his research on the cases you're looking to direct... I haven't even mentioned the quiet bike yet. Directors, property that they might be at, company assets, anything that we can use as leverage when we turn up or anything that we can use to say, well, hold on a minute. We know you're trading here because I found this piece of evidence. It is a great asset when we go into a case like that to have it there with us to sort of take the wind out of their sails, as it were. Minutes later, Mr. Yusuf has someone on the phone who wants to talk to Gary. Who's on the phone? Can you talk to her? Please. Who was her? Who's this? Yeah, she, she does it. Hello? Hello? Hi, how can I help? Um, yes, what's going on? Why are you traveling? Are you the no. are you the lady that I spoke to last time? At the office? Probably, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, you said that this was going to get paid. Well, if you can see the company's house, the company is about to get dissolved. Well, the, there are the vehicles, there are vehicles second. that um, it are being sold by this company on eBay. It's not impossible because I've got the printouts in front of me. The woman is the same person the agents met when they first tried to enforce the yeah, rent. She's still trying to stop the enforcement. So Gary makes it clear what he intends to do. So we've got three cars here and a quad bike that will be removed if the debt isn't paid. The debt... But you can't do that because he, he well, I can do that and I will do that. The debt is £3,623. OK, if it's not paid, I'm going to take the cars. Okay, one second. He getting his stuff about it. He <laughs> you know the jig is up, buddy. The lady would like to talk to you. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, do you want to know how much it is? I'll tell you. After speaking to the woman, Mr. Yusuf makes a complete U turn. Are you going to pay the balance? Okay, yeah, no problem. I'll get the uh, I'll get the car machine. Mr. Yusuf pays the three thousand six hundred and twenty-three pounds Giant Cars Limited owes in full. All gone through me. House nice, yeah. is clean. You know what I'm Thank saying? you very much. Thank you. Ta-da. But I get it. They had to dry everything tonight. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, was like six eight. He got to duck through the door. Oh yeah. Should have played football. There's like one car, American. two cars. Oh, look at that, and a quad bike to go with it. Within a week of the agent's visit, Michael Cox made an application to have the writ set aside. Okay. What else? At a hearing, the application was dismissed. Pay that money up, buddy. Kept up with that payment, okay. That's it, yeah, that was it, pretty much. Yep. Alright, you know, next time. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, I'm gone.